This is George from High Tech Legion. We recently took a look at the Thermolab ITX30, a 30 millimeter tall, uh, what could only be described as a little powerhouse. We had a great experience with it that had cooling well beyond what you'd expect from anything of that size. Today, we're going to take a look at another piece from Thermolab that is aimed at the small form factor community, uh, the LP53, which is the Big Brother standing at 53 millimeters tall. As I said, the LP53 is aimed at small form factor, obviously with only a 53 millimeter height. Uh, it is a little bit shorter than an Intel stock cooler, and it fits on Intel LGA 1150, 1155, 1156. Now taking a look, box once again, very plain from um, Thermolab cardboard box. Compatibility dimensions 11 by 94 by 53 millimeters in height this time. Again, uh, on the sticker is all of your specifications. Weight 410 grams. Heat sink material pure copper. Once again, uh, we saw that played a great role in the ITX30, and it's going to play a fantastic role here as well. Four pin PWM fan, uh, 95 millimeter fan, 25 millimeters thick, which is cap um, capable of 1000 to 2100 RPM with a sound level maxing out at 27 dB. So you're going to get very quiet performance there as well. So getting a look at the LP53 itself. It's a really nice design, as you can see. Very, very slim, uh, 53 millimeters tall, as I said. Most of that being, of course, um, the fan itself at 25 millimeters. So you've got 28 millimeters on the heatsink, 25 millimeters on the fan, with a tiny bit in between, of course. So rubber uh, mounts on the fan itself, as you see here. So complete vibration damping going on. Four pin PWM. As I say, it is um, PWM fan. 4-pin controlled, so you're good there. Uh, now, the heatsink itself is pure copper. There's no aluminum used here, as you can see. Reason being, copper has higher heat dissipation than aluminum does. So what you're going to get by using copper is more dissipation for the area. So a smaller uh, copper heatsink is going to be able to dissipate as much heat as a much larger aluminum heatsink. So that's the reason you're seeing all this copper used here. So you've got pure copper fins, the two six millimeter heat pipes, as you can see, U-shaped going through the contact plate, which is pure copper itself, out through the pure copper fins. So you've got a very, very nice design. Also, Thermolab does a very, very nice job of putting their pieces together. As you can see, uh, it's really nicely manufactured. No jagged edges anywhere. Fins aren't sharp or anything of that nature. Really just nicely put together. Good soldering, as you see, um, and really just nice all around. So you've got also the um, pre-installed retention brackets, as you see here. Once again, only uh, Intel 1150, 55, 56. So it is pre-set up for that with thermal interface material pre-applied, as you see, under the plastic um, protector right here. So you're good for one uh, installation. If you are going to be taking it out, putting it back in, you will have to buy thermal interface material. The Thermolab ITX30 and LP53 share the same mounting system, so we're going to take a look at both today. Um, now first, starting with the ITX30, as you see here, we've taken off the thermal interface material and we're going to be using some Noctua NTH1 for consistency in our testing. That's already been applied to the CPU. So as you see uh, on the ITX30 and as well on the LP53, really when you've got the uh, thermal interface material the pre-applied Tim off, uh, it's got a really nice polish to the block itself. Now, very, very simple. First step, you're going to need to put your washers onto your screws, as you see here, uh, flat side of the washer facing the head of the screw. Next, simply put the cooler into position. Very, very important that most people don't know. Um, you want your U's either facing down or to the side. You never want the U facing up with the end of the heat pipe facing down. That will cause problems as far as heating. So side to side, fine. Facing up with the tips of the heat pipes facing up with the U at the bottom, fine, but never upside down. So we're gonna put it into place. And simply put the four screws in from the rear. Give you a look at what's going on on the back of the motherboard as you see the four screws go in and as you can see when you're threading it's actually very easy to see the threading uh through the hole in the motherboard 
and then just get your screw right into place. Uh, it's not something you really need to fidget around with a whole lot, especially once the first screw started. I mean, the four will go right in. Uh, what you want to do after you've got them hand tight is then tighten up in obviously X pattern until these stop. You don't want to over tighten. You just want it to snug till it stops. And you're all set. Like I say, no backplate, so you've got no motherboard component interference whatsoever back here. Uh, so perfect for ITX motherboards. And of course, final step, the installation. Just plug your fan into your CPU four pin header. And you're ready to go. In the case, as you can see, the LP53 is actually a pretty good looking piece. Um, it completely adheres to Intel's keepout zone. As you can see, no component obstruction uh, whatsoever. So it stays well within there. Small footprint, once again, uh, I should say small height at 53 millimeters tall. So you've got a very interesting piece here in the case. So let's take a look at how it performs. Taking a look at the numbers, the LP53 did very, very well on the 4770K. Something to keep in mind when you look at these comparison numbers, uh, the LP53 is the smallest uh, height-wise of the coolers in the test. Also, it has the smallest footprint of any of the coolers in the test. The others are top-down coolers, so they do have a larger footprint, whereas the LP53 stays entirely within Intel's keepout zone and interferes with absolutely no other motherboard components and does not block any RAM slots. So summing up here, you've got pure copper LP53, keeps completely in the Intel keepout zone, low profile, 53 millimeters, specifically for a small form factor. But what's really impressive here, the performance was absolutely outstanding for a 53 millimeter tall cooler. Absolutely nothing came close to it. Uh, also, you throw in there, very, very easy installation, takes just a couple of minutes to install, and obviously, uh, Thermal Lab is going home with the High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award for the LP53. You know, I don't think I can say enough about this. Now, also, price point on this, $52.95. Good price point for a good low-profile cooler. I mean, for a small form factor, it's really an outstanding performer. You saw it took the 4770K and everything it had to throw at it without a problem. Uh, that was at stock speeds. Of course, you're going to be able to do a small overclock. You're not going to be able to do a huge overclock, but you're not going to be expecting that using a cooler that's only 53 millimeters tall. You know, end of the day, the LP53 was flawless in, in its performance, fantastic in its uh, construction and design, great materials used. The pure copper is fantastic. Now, as far as noise, very, very quiet under about 1900 RPM. It does start getting audible outside the case at about 1900, and you do get that 95 millimeter fan type whine outside the case. But unless you're really stressing the CPU, you're never gonna hear it outside the case. So once again, the Thermolab LP53 takes home a High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award.